Welcome to the weekly program of Tantra Book, the review by AP State Council of Higher Education. This program was initiated by our chairman, Professor K. Hemsandra Digaru, for one and a half years back to inculcate a, a part of habit for the students, those who are very busy with their academics and not in a position to go through with the literature book, especially if they are more of the more of Tepi Chari and they are not in a position to go with the prints material. So, in view of this backdrop, Professor K. Hemsandar Digal has initiated this program, Talk the Book, in YouTube channel. Because in the YouTube channel, whether the students will be associated with the YouTube and other So, every week on Friday, between 3 to 5, 4 o'clock, we will be having a, this program alternating with the Telugu or English book. Today is the English book that is being reviewed by Dr. Sachanara Nagaru, the book he has chosen for this day is Prison Diary by J. Prakash Narayan. Majority of the generation may not be having an idea of who is J. Prakash Narayan, who was instrumental in the changing the Indian politics during the 1970s and 80s. So he has written his book, Prince, uh, Prison Diary. That is being reviewed by Dr. Sachanaranagar. Regarding the introduction of Sachanaranagar, the beauty of today's program, Dr. Book, he is working as the assistant professor in the Department of English in Humanity in Anil Nirpuna Institute of Technology and Science. He worked as associate professor of English and HOE, PS, and H Department in Medical Education Society Group of Institution in Engineering College. He is also one of the subsequent trainers in the training and placement staff. It is the MA English and the staff from Dr. LPPG College. He also did his dental degree in 2013 on MK Gandhi's My Experiment to Prove from Acharya Nagar University. He has done his PhD on present writing during emergency in India, a study from Andhra University. He is also a ratified assistant professor of English in JNQ, Canada. Viral Vaidya Institute of Technology in Shakhtar. He has 17 years of teaching experience. He has worked with the good teaching and motivational skills. He is also a resource person for guest lectures, workshops, and webinars. He also presented national and international purpose and published articles in journals for credit. He is a great reader that he got an opportunity to interact with former Prime Minister of India, Padma Vibhushan, CLK Edwani, regarding his work. Uh, on the research work on 2015 and obviously LPR money. So now I will to Dr. Sachinara and again to review the book sent by Jay Prakash Narayan. Unmute. 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 Thank you, sir, for your wonderful introduction. Uh, even though you are a great person, but you have given that Wonder, uh, it's an uh, introduction for us. Thank you very much, sir, for giving this wonderful opportunity. Uh, good afternoon to one and all. First of all, uh, I would like to thank you for being a part of this wonderful program. Talk the book, which is uh, initiated by Andhra Pradesh State Council of Higher Education, Chairman Professor K. Hamachandra Redigaru, for giving an excellent opportunity. I also extend my thanks to Professor Satya Fani Kumari, Madam, Head of the Department of English, for her uh, advising to give a talk. Books are observing. They are darlings in one's loneliness. They bring you joy and pleasure in any time. Books are like wings for life and career. Many, many are benefited by this wonderful program, which helps to develop the uh, which helps to develop the habit of reading uh, books in, uh, in the minds of uh, uh, students, uh, uh, scholars and uh, academicians. Today, I have chosen... Let me uh, 
let me move on to the next slide. Today, I have chosen to study, uh, to talk about the prison diary by Jay Loknaik Jay Prakash Narayan. Uh, he was a great leader of India. And uh, when Srimati Indira Gandhi was Prime Minister of India, uh, the president then was uh, declared uh, political emergency. At the moment, uh, uh, Jay Prakash Narayan fought for the nation against autocracy. He, at the moment he was, uh, uh, he was uh, incarcerated mm. by the government. He did not waste his time and he wrote, he wrote a diary. He wrote, he wrote a diary in the prison. So today I have taken major elements of uh, this particular presentation. Uh, firstly, uh, prison literature or prison writing. And uh, diary writing, letter writing, prison diary by J. Prakash Narayan, emergency movement in India, 1975-77, to total revolution by J.P. Today's my presentation is dedicated to the prisoners who sacrificed their lives for the nation. What is prison literature? See, uh, prison, uh, in fact, literature has always been a mirror of society in which contemporary images and perceptions of society are reflected very vividly and gracefully. Literature in English includes areas like colonial literature, women's literature, American literature, uh, African literature, British literature, and Dalit literature today. There is a form of uh, prison literature which has come up in all languages of the world from time to time. We, uh, in fact, we believe that uh, uh, there, there is a, um, that a writer needs a comfortable study room. But many great works were written in a prison under most inhuman conditions. And uh, uh, before going to talk about uh, uh, prison literature, the definition of prison literature, let us know what is prison life? Prison life is physically horrid and psychologically suffocating. Such life is worth an examination. Many righteous personalities, revolutionaries, social reformers, and true patriots who sacrifice their uh, life for the betterment of society claim their rights even though they are imprisoned on pseudo allegations uh, and occasionally record their, uh, record their horrible, horrible horrible experiences which are often published either during their own lifetime or posthumously uh, such recordings in any of the for art form called prison literature. In fact, uh, uh, prison writing is a broad term which, inclu which includes uh, accounts of the social, political, uh, economic, uh, uh, cultural and ideological events inside and outside of the prison and uh, gets expressed through a set of uh, genres, different kinds of genres or complex set of genres. In fact, uh, prison literature has emerged as a literary genre in the recent past. Uh, and and it is because uh, prison literature explores the relationship between creative literature and imprisonment, purposeful writing and imprisonment, committed writing and imprisonment, it also emerged as a topic for study in the 20th century and now features as a regular subject of study in many Western universities. Prison writing is mostly a great platform to the freedom fighters, political leaders, social activists, and suppressed people to produce works that would ask the government, question the government. During the freedom struggle in India, many intellectuals and patriots actively participated in a uh, revolutionary activities uh, and they also inspired the young Indians to join the freedom struggle. As a result, uh, these intellectuals were kept in prison. Though they were in prison, they blamed patriotism through their writings from behind the bars. 
they also spent months and years in jail during the time uh, when they were cut off from the outer world uh, and the british government then was kind enough to pr uh, provide pen and paper they also don't waste it, they don't waste it, don't waste it, their time but they also utilized the time for reading and writing books within the four walls of prison the prisoners were also mostly interest included the subjects of social political uh, philosophical and and spiritual the political prisoners also mostly talk about politics democracy human rights constitutional values uh, social justice uh, uh, prison conditions welfare of the people even though uh, they were cut off uh, uh, they were enclosed behind the bars uh, and uh, cut off from uh, the society they were uh, keenly aware of uh, that uh, that was occurring outside uh, uh, through their avid reading habits as uh, being intellectual uh, they were entitled uh, to claim books in newspapers uh, editorials journals and periodicals during their stay in jail some prisoners reveal reveal themselves to be not only writers but also readers with an extra given fondness of popular books for example uh, one of the great freedom fighters of india bhagat singh jail note the jail note book is less about writing and more about reading because he was a voracious reader they also spend a lot of time reading and making copious notes on uh, what they read uh, uh, while uh, while they awaited executions in jail among the prisoners some could write books because they had privileges within the within the prison some could not write because uh, they had no privileges to do so some could not because could not write because uh, they did not have the skill in writing some can become writers after imprisonment because the conditions made them to write books but many prisoners had documented their inhuman conditions and their desire to exhibit it hidden art form that they had apart from from physical torture and prison experiences like uh, uh, mental trauma torture uh, unsuitable foods uh, food habits hostile climate uh, hostile climate and uh, uh, deprived of family times uh, emotionally drained many insane lost appetites uh, fell sick commit suicide uh, these are the things uh, happening in uh, within the uh, four walls of prison the prisoners also managed to procure during their imprisonment a large number of selected works of prominent authors of their time when we go through when we go through the origin and history of prison writing all the prison writing evolved in the 6th century it has gained access access into the research of public mind recently the first prison writing uh, is traced back to both your consolation of philosophy in uh, found 24 ad it is also observed that many political prisoners uh, a uh, create unforgettable impression upon the minds of people through their writing a uh, world popular prisoners like uh, uh, prison writers like uh, thoreau napoleon bonaparte uh, hugo grotius mark palo uh, cervantes walter rally uh, john bunyan nelson mandela martin luther dostoevsky oscar wilde e coming soral fitler gugeva tiango and many others apart from all the female uh, uh, apart from all uh, the female prisoners also contributed to the prison literature when it comes to the indian context bahadur sa jafar dafar kantarla gopana the balaganga da tilak jo uh, uh, arvind ghosh gopal krishna gokhale mahatma gandhi ji jawahar nehru subhash chandra bose bhagat singh rajgopal acharya emn roy loknayak jayaprakash narayan atal bihari words by lk advani kuldeep nayar mary tyler snehalata reddy and kv ramana reddy and others have written extensively during their incarceration central sahitya academy conducted a seminar on prison writing in india at mysore in 2004 professor andhra university professor clal jayprada 
participated and presented a paper on KV Ramana Reddy's uh, prison diary, which was also published in Prison Writing in India. And Kakati University also conducted a two-day national seminar on prison writing in India, uh, suppressing dissent and uh, generating consent at Warangal 2009-19. In this seminar, various aspects of prison writing were discussed by professors and scholars. I also participated and presented my paper on prison writing. Yeah. As I have explained, uh, the experts indicate uh, one can see that uh, there are various genres commonly seen in prison writing. They are autobiographies, prison autobiographies, prison memories, prison diaries, prison letters, prison notes, prison essays, prison pamphlets, prison novels, and prison poetry. These are the uh, major writings which were happened in the in the prison or jail, and. Uh, And recently, uh, I, I also submitted a memorandum on introducing present literature in Indian universities to three, uh, M. K. Naidu Garu, the former Vice President of India, on 6th November 2021. I, I also submitted my thesis to uh, M. K. Naidu Garu. Before going to talk about uh, prison diary of Jai Prakash Narayan, I want to talk about the development of diary writing. How happened the diary writing in the world and country? In fact, uh, uh, in fact, uh, the the diary writing has been the most popular form of literary writing right from the ancient times. Its origin has been traced from Greek writing. The ancient philosophers of Greece and used to observe the stars, and they were adept the, at uh, Astronomy. They use it to observe stars and relate to day-to-day -day events with uh, the movements of the stars. They, they use it to relate every minute's detail of day-to-day -day activities and record them carefully. Romans later on followed the same method. Samuel Pepys undertook the first diary writing as back as 1660, and he used it to record religious things in secret code language. He rose from ordinary Tyler's son to parliamentarian. And later he started writing diary recording his day-to-day -day activities. Samuel Pepe was uh, the first person to chronicle the diary day-to-day -day personal events uh, in the diary. The diary was uh, published in the book form later. In fact, uh, in fact uh, the origin of the word diary comes from the Latin word which means daily, daily allowance. Even though the origin of diary writing was not uh, unknown, uh, known the un antiquity of the diary was traced as, to as early as second century with the writing Greek king uh, Marx Aralia, who's uh, had resemblance of diary writing. His diary, Pepys' diary remained as a mystery for 122 years after his death. We try to understand the, the importance of diary writing. Later, his diary was decoded by some accidental reader. Diary writing has been a custom right from the early years of literature in English. It has been regarded as a mirror of the author and his life. The psychologist, the psychologist from the University of Texas and North Carolina were of the opinion that diary writing is not only not only limited to the extent of reflecting a person's day-to-day -day event, but it is an effective instrument to ease out one's mental tension and help achieve better things in life. Especially diary writing helps the individual to reduce mental agony as it is an instrument to share the suffering with self. At the same time, diary writing can facilitate an individual to express untold suffering which cannot be shared with self, within self. In this process, diary has an important role to play not only in the realms of personality development and literature, 
but also in the fields of history which gives valuable suggestions and lessons about inner and outer struggle struggles of human beings the better way is laid for better future for the posterity diary writing in printed form came into being as uh, back 1810 by an english merchant uh, john rice he wanted to publish diaries 1816 by by 1836 printed diaries of various sizes were available everywhere diary writing came into printed form later the famous personalities like emerson and mahatma gandhi uh, uh versen wool walter scott uh, uh franji flake they they also gave their directions and inspirational book for the posterity the best example of diary writing can be quoted by the example of diary of charles darwin the, during his voyage he maintained the record rec- regarding the biodiversity of various places the rock water and the other various uh, uh, evolutionary process of uh, various creatures his notes maintained in the form files of diaries later came into being as a famous book uh, entitled uh, the origin of species see if we can understand right now how diary writing creates a wonderful things in the world therefore the publication of the origin species and subsequent editions were works that the darwin followed scrupulously and carefully and uh, let me talk about uh, uh, political diaries so prison is a place for uh, solitary reflection with a lot of time on loud the prison writers engaged in the captivity diaries said about he deliberately avoided the short false justification aggregation in prison writers naturally reflect on their own lives the conditions they live in and the state of the nation naturally in uh, intense manner uh, we can remember some political diaries in the history of uh, uh, world for example uh, uh, one of the four most political diaries was created back in ni- ni- 1893 with the diary of a canadian prime minister uh, leaner making he described writing diary as one of the pleasant ways to the share his views with his friends he wrote his diary for two years in his own handwriting later his diary was regarded as a reference book for economical and political conditions of the country during the time until before his death he continued writing that he covered about a period of 400 years history writing about 3000 pages of book it was a greatest work the country's history during nazi rule under hitler hitler frederick was imprisoned under various changes during his jail term frederick right wrote his diary prison diary it is known as prison diary just uh, and many uh, many great uh, writers uh, no, uh, diary writers one of the no- notable diaries worth mentioning was the diary of prama uh, prama who was uh, popular known as uh, nighting love uh, nighting love vietnam she worked as a doctor in the war against america the diary was published after her brutal murder in the war field the diary was a reflection of her voice it anguish orders the pains and sufferings of vietnam soldiers similarly trump diary another significant diary was that of which was very popular to people popular to the world and anne frank during the second world war she wrote her diary describing the misdeeds of nazis in germany she was 13 years old when she wrote her diary she was uh, the diary of a young girl inspired popularly popular holly hollywood films she was born in frank frankfurt fought in germany in an ordinary jewish family in 1929 
Anne Frank diary was a classic example of uh, to show that a diary could inspire people and infuse greater ideology into the minds of the people even after the death of the writer of the diary. Her diary continued to inspire minds from all over the world even longer after her death. Inspiration of the Anne Frank diary, the famous writer Frank Goodrich and Albert Hackett wrote popular drama and a popular American film was made by drawing inspiration from the play written by these writers based on Anne Frank's diary. The film was directed by the popular American director George Stephens in 1959. Anne Frank's diary was ranked as one of the widely read red books of the world because it was written in English language and it was translated into 67 world languages. That was the greatness of her diary writing. So we spoke a lot of uh, uh, things about uh, diary writing and we came to know. Uh, another uh, significant diary, Sanya, Sanya wrote another significant diary. This diary was written in the backdrop of the Second World War, describing famine situations after mass of the Second World War, how people, children, and elders suffered from effects of the world war. She was Russian by birth and she started writing diary at the age of 11 in the, uh, in the year 1941. Her diary was regarded as one of the historical references of misdeeds of Nazi Germany. She said, even after her death in 1944, her diary remained as immortal. These are the Things what we have learned from the diary writing in the history of the world, and when we uh, come to uh, when we talk about our present diary by Loknayak J. Prakash Narayan, uh, the the present diary of J. P. mainly a study of not only the reflections of select uh, reflections in their present term. But also the socio political, socio political and the history of India. Before the emergency, the conditions and the conditions leading to the clamping of emergency and the conditions of afterwards, some books came out focusing on the dark periods of history of the world from repeatedly and they, serve, they served as an important reference and inspiration even today. In addition, there are sources of study for historians. For example, books written during the period of 1975 to 77, that is during the emergency, threw some light on the misdeeds and misdoings during the time of emergency. And those books were instructive and highly informative for historians, scholars, and journalists of various fields. These books of the time served as mirrors of the truth and main source of information exposing the naked reality of this period and misdeeds were not reported in the newspapers due to censorship. And so many facts of the period remained untouched by the fourth estate because of fear of consequences. The objective of uh, this diary is to, uh, to study of uh, this diary to to look at the present writing as a form of counter inscription, the style of writing with its own set of images, metaphors and literary devices that make it powerful and inspirational shall be focused on. The incidents, anecdotes, anecdotes antecedents and some of the issues will be written in the works of political prisoners by uh, prisoner, prisoner's diary, uh, prison diary by J. Prakash Narayan. Prison writers of the emergency period left behind in, in history brilliant ideas and lofty ideals that can inspire generations to shape the destiny of the nation. So why did they write uh, diaries in prison? They want to communicate the people the common man of India. They want to communicate. So, man has been using language as a tool of communication for centuries. 
language is one of the most prized possessions of man it acts as a, re a, re a repository of wisdom a propeller for the advancement of knowledge and a telescope to view of the vision of the future communication is an important aspect of behavior human communication is affected by all factors that influences human behavior so literacy literature is a well considered form of a language that influences the minds of readers of all the generations the glory they gained through their writings will never fade while history books last so let me come to the the writer of the present day about jay prakash narayan he was born on 11th october 1902 uh, he was died on 8th october 1979 his his birthplace was is sitam uh, sitab dayara bihar state his wife was uh, prabhavati devi she dearly a uh, people dearly call, call him as uh, jp and he was a titled uh, titled popularly known as uh, lok nayak which means world leader the leader of universe his education is ami sociology uh, studied in the uh, university of uh, uh, wisconsin he was a social activist theorist and politician he he actively participated in uh, uh, freedom struggle in india especially quit india uh, and uh, sarvodaya uh, sarvodaya movement and um, uh, emergency movement uh, emergency movement uh, is known as uh, jp movement uh, see, uh, in fact uh, the movement is called by people uh, as jp movement because he led the movement successfully and he received the roman roman megasis award in 1965 and he, he also received bharat ratna in 1999 posthumously after passing the, the central government gave him uh, uh, bharat ratna because he was uh, the great son of uh, he was uh, one of the great sons of uh, india here uh, uh, when we talk about uh, lok nayak ji prakash narayan we remember always he was a great gandhian follower he implemented even though he was a socialist but he followed the gandhian principle completely and successfully he was shishya of mahatma gandhi ji uh, here uh, there, there was a foreign writer commented on, uh, on uh, uh, commented about uh, uh, lok nayak ji prakash narayan uh, we can go through it um, the australian biographer kapil alla wendy scarf has written here in his book uh, not everyone's personal life can match the nobility of his ideas but jay prakash narayan did his did it his ideas for creative compassionate compassionate compassionality original and powerful but the man in his courage integrity and humanity was greater still they looked up, they looked up to him as a man who had inspired millions of people to take up the cudgel soap for their rights so here i have kept the picture of both lok nayak ji prakash narayan and mahatma gandhi ji uh, and jp was uh, an embodiment of the ideas and ideals that gandhi ji instilled in those who fought for national freedom here it has been observed that that the life and works of history makers are remarkable here uh, one more comment given by the great uh, person former pres uh, from former prime minister of india and poet atal bihari vajpayee in 1978 remarked that jp was not only not merely the name of one person it symbolized humanity 
when one remembered mr narayan's two pictures came into one's mind one remained of bhishma pitamaha lying and mr narayan while the farmer fought for the kauravas the latter fought for justice the second picture was in the in our mind was one of the christ on the cross and mr narayan's life remained one of christ sacrifice people of india are facing defeat at several fronts defeat of values defeat of justice defeat of governance and defeat of institutions of democracy these were the wretches that made him a leader of the youth he might have been an elderly person afflicted with poor health but his honesty and spirit of sacrifice made him the most revered leader of the youth he never craved for power or position but he all always led a principled life which is why he was able to inspire the world even today he did not take he did not expect any power or position when you go through the history life history of jay prakash narayan you can understand let us talk about uh, prison diary by jp so why did he write the prison diary when he when did he write of uh, when 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 shrimati indira gandhi was the prime minister of india then the president the president of india declared declared the emergency political emergency in india he, he he was incarcerated he was incarcerated by the government then he, he spent uh, 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 four months uh, within the four walls of uh, prison uh, prison life from 21st july uh, 1975 to 4th november 1975 the diary highlights the relevance of his thoughts which means revolution in every aspect and uh, every sphere of society which is a combination of seven revolutions what are the seven revolutions actually he is a theorist because he studied a lot about the society practically and he could understand the problems of the common man in india because so he studied the pulse of, uh, of the common man and he did not expect anything from the people or the uh, party but uh, he always thinks about the nation's development because he followed uh, the rules uh, the principles of uh, mahatma gandhi ji he could understand he he, he was he, he accumulated the ideology of the mahatma gandhi so what are the seven revolutions here here he, he has written many number of uh, uh, journals um, he maintained journal he has mentioned in his writing seven revolutions even within the prison he wrote in the diary what are them social political economic cultural educational intellectual or uh, ideological spiritual these seven aspects should be developed in within the country even today no nobody can uh, uh, nobody can uh, take the inspiration from jay prakash narayan's ideology he 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 was a great scholar in fact he studied in you know, he studied ph uh, in fact he did his uh, phd in uh, america usa uh, but he 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 was unable to in complete the course because of uh, political uh, uh, political situations and scenario of uh, india and he came back to uh, india and uh, he served the nation a reading of prison diary of jp makes one conclude that prison literature as a literary genre is diverse and very complex the prison diary provides first and foremost an, an intelligent and reflective assessment of the contemporary society of india indian history the diary the prison diary of jp assumes a unique a unique significant role in the history of indian literature which provides valuable insights into the relationship of public and private life 
it can be noted that the diary provides the readers with vast knowledge of events of the political history of indian india during the emergency through the, through his diary writing in prison jp urges the youth to rise rise to the occasion in the national reconstruction of course we uh, we got the independence from the british people but at this moment the the ruling of government has been uh, has not been done properly they do against to uh, uh, democracy so that he wanted to he wanted to save the nation at the moment so he motivated young people and he started a revolution revolutionary movement uh, many uh, uh, whole india whole whole indian uh, means uh, the people of india were followed and inspired by the message of loknayak jay prakash narayan jp stand in support of human rights stands vindicated in in the text especially the present diary they will draft out a plan of, of total revolution which can free the country from its problems it is a is new he actually he invented a new word total revolution nobody can implement even today which can free the country from its problems he suggests jp suggests that a man should possess the things which were enough to satisfy his minimum needs he mentioned somewhere in his diary man is mo man is both matter and spirit his life must fulfill both his material and his spiritual needs uh, page number 61 he extending he he tried to extending his uh, explanation to moral spiritual framework jp analyzes how the moral spiritual aspects are interrelated though he was a marxist to the core at the beginning he turned to practical socialism on the advice of mahatma gandhi until he assumed the role of a revolutionary he remained one of the greatest devoted follower of mahatma gandhi that was the uh, actually in the diary there were two parts diary part and the letter part he also wrote six letters there are six appendixes under the second part of jp's prison diary letter addressed to the prime minister dated 21st july to uh, 1974 from jail <coughs> letter addressed to the prime minister dated second September 1975 from prison. Letter addressed to the Prime Minister dated 17 September 1975 from prison. Letter addressed to the Prime Minister dated 22 September 1975 from prison. He also wrote the letter to the Prime Minister uh, Sri Mat Indira Gandhi, um, and he conveyed. Uh, a beautiful uh, message to prime minister and uh, he also motivated to the prime minister then he at last phase uh, he he message to the nation the title of the chapter is message to the nation here he has mentioned his uh, message to the nation nation means the whole people because at the age of 75 his he health was not permitted so that he he was thinking about his health and uh, he doubt about himself that he uh, he could not do something for the nation so that uh, my dear youth of india please take care of the country he advised to all the youth of the country and he also mentioned uh, in one one of the last page hindi text a combination of poetry and notes expressing thoughts recapitulated it recapitulated it jp he appears in his diary as a thinker of new gandhian process of social change gandhi gandhi was no more so that that uh, instead of gandhi ji 
you he he still feel at the place of uh, uh gandhi and he was always he was always thinking about uh, con- reconstruction of society the letters of jp have been testimonials to the spirit of revolution against the injustice and the unlawful practices of then government through these letters he sent the voice to the misery of the millions and the suffering of the political prisoners the letters pulsate with the, that political consciousness and transmit the message to the targeted readers to serve the logical end of the movements they have feared had jp expresses his affection for the people with a variety of tender phrases in his letters because we studied uh, the even the diary both uh, letters so what kind of uh, uh, words he used uh, for uh, creating awareness among the youth or people both the uncertainty of uh, the future and the hope of for uh, the hope for uh, uh, acquittal uh, are evident in jp's discussion about his imprisonment the example of such phrases jay prakash uh, by jay prakash narayan he used such kind of vocabulary he right to recall delicate task delicate subject spirit of conciliation danger of internal disturbance afraid of shadow social democracy utter frankness social evils mass awakening restore full freedom of press restore full civil liberties to people and the heart of the nation you have what kind of words uh, used by lok naik jay prakash narayan in his present diary jp style is acclaimed for his clarity and precision he uses fiery metaphors to express his anguish at the turn of events in the country he also wrote his uh, wrote a poem in his uh, diary at the end of the page present poem by J- lok naik jay prakash narayan life is full of failures whenever success approach i pushed them away from my path was it tamfully uh, then no my definitions of success and failure are different ask history whether years ago could i not have become the prime minister but for me a revolution a researcher a researcher uh, some other password uh, password password acceptable visible path of sacrifice of construction of struggle of total revolution what the world calls failures where stages in the first destination to is far off i do not have to stop anywhere however blocked the path may be i have no desire for myself everything is dedicated to the almighty so i am satisfied with my failure and this unsuccessful life will be blessed a hundred times if further dear and fellow seeker see how jp conveyed his message to young people youth of india the path fan with thorns is made somewhat easy here the sixth appendix was hindi text which was translated by someone in english the poetry the poem which was a combination of poetry and notes expressing thoughts recapitulated it when jp's imprisonment at chandigarh jail entered the third week he wrote a poem which in a way expresses his mission in life so by by, by uh, when we go through the poem of lokna jp prakash narayan prison poem of uh, jp we can understand uh, the in- intention and the uh, intellectual caliber of jp jp is writing and and we can understand uh, the miss- vision and mission of uh, nation in fact uh, uh, 
when he was in jail his health was not permitted so completely that's what he lo he lost his hope but uh, he has a great hope on indian youth he comes through as a man surprised at the intensity of the reaction that he had produced he wonders whether he has also been responsible in any way for bringing bringing the country to this terrible pass he then concludes that it was not he but an insecure and corrupt political milu that was responsible for the situation from a low point he gradually recovers his old self in spite of his ill health as i mentioned earlier determines to correct the wrong that has been done to india he determines to correct the misdeeds and misdoings of the government then the government that he has been done to india unless nobody was there to correct that uh, government's uh, autocratic government so when i want to complete this conclusion we understand what is there behind that uh, prison diary during the emergency period the political prisoners and the writers opened new vistas for inspiration they made use of artful language in the presentation of their ideas ideas for this they used various tactics figurative presentations of horrid conditions caricatures satire literary allusions mythological and fabulous compa- uh, and uh, fabulous comparison and subtle insight they invited people especially youth to fight against the emergency by using literary quotations and powerful slogans when he was in prison a very important idea that a serious literature exhibits either Im- implicitly or explicitly is the vision of a nation jp's prison diary reflects uh, explicitly represent a vision of a truly free and uh, happy country where suffering ignorance economic equality social evils and political oppression disappear disappear thank you sir uh, for giving this wonderful opportunity Oh, thanks so much and I will just uh, within one hour you will have a brief introduction of the prison diaries and what are the like, literature that is available in the prison diary how do they are able to make it the introduction also very good um, so we are on behalf of the AP State of Higher Education we thank you for presenting this uh, book of J. Prakash Nara and who is called the book 9 who is a, who can call himself as a Gandhian revolutionist. That's what, thank you. Thank you, sir.